Deb Denny is here. Greetings from the USA. Pre prayer request for the safety of the Trump jurors and prosecutors. Uh, and all as there have been calls online for them to be identified and doxxed. Because that's what people of peace do, isn't it? That's what people of peace do. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't want to talk about that guy tonight, but yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so, okay, first, let's address the prayers. We're going to pray for the jurors and their families. We're going to pray for the court workers and their families. We're going to pray for the judge and family and for the prosecutors and family. Because, yeah, there's lots of people who are visibly... Uh, visibly angry about the 34 uh, guilty verdicts. There's a lot of people who are, who are really angry about that. There's a lot of people who are, are calling for, um, let's call it revenge. Now, I've noticed that on the right side of things, uh, as they call for revenge, they, they, al they always say now, it's, it's really interesting this time around, uh, you know, not, not real, not violence, not physical violence, but you know what we mean. Good, not physical violence. Excellent. Uh, but there is, it, it sounds like there is increasing danger. Now, I know Trump is the victim here. He was the defendant. He's the one that's been found guilty, whether you agree with that or not. He's the one who's facing these consequences. Victims are probably a very, probably the the wrong word for me to use, but he's the defendant. He's the one who's facing these consequences. He's the one that these people who are calling for, for um, everybody, for these people who are involved in his prosecution to be, to be doxxed and identified online, which would of course put them in, in real danger, right? It would put them in real danger because you only dox and identify if you have something else in mind. If you're planning on, on maybe harassment or, or something else, something much worse. With that being said, despite the fact that he was the one that's prosecuted, despite the fact that he's the one um, who's facing the consequences, because he is the one who is loved by those who are calling out for these, um, these officers of the court to be identified and and their information shared with the public, their private information shared with the public, he's also the one who has a responsibility to stand up and say, stop, please stop. He's the one who has the responsibility right now. He and all of those other elected officials who are lining up beside him, all those influencers who, who, who wish to be, you know, wish to make up his... Um, his, his entourage, all of those people, but him especially, they have the responsibility to stand up and to say, no, stop, put away, put away your weapons, put away your keyboards, put away your anger, put away your vitriol, put away your hate. We'll move on from here. You know, the story that, that came to mind for me today, as I was reading that so many people are, are, are calling for, for retribution, we'll call it. Hope, again, many of them will say, not physical violence, but they're, they're calling for this kind of thing. The, the story that, that I was reminded of is, is when, Jesus was, um, when, when Jesus was arrested, right? So just after telling his, after just telling, after telling his guys, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to get, you're going to have to sell your coat to buy a sword and, and you're, you're going to need to defend yourself. He wasn't talking about physical da danger, but, you know, those are the words that he used. And and uh, Judas has turned him over and has told the, the, the temple guards where they can find him. Uh, and, and, and the officials from the Sanhedrin come looking for him, armed. 
and I believe it's the it's the chief Pharisee's um, assistant who Peter attacks. Peter attacks him and, and slices it says slices his ear, slices his ear off, and Jesus looks to Peter and says, "Put that thing away. Put your weapons away." That is, you, that this is not the time. This, we do not do that here. We do not do that here. You know, I remember the address that Jesus makes to, to the people as he's hanging on, on the cross. He calls it to God, forgive them. They know not what they do. We talked about that this week, but but he looks out and it says to the disciple that he loved. And he says, he looks to him and he looks to his mom and he says, mother, this is your son. This is your mother. I.e., these two people that he loves, he says, look after one another. He accepted the responsibility when he was arrested and he stepped up and said, put away your weapons. We won't have any of this. This is not the time for violence. This is not the place for violence. We are not people of violence. Now, I I don't like trying to hold others to a Christian standard that I try to hold myself to, but I can with Trump because there are so many people out there who hold him up and say, this is a man who is anointed and appointed. This is a man who is divinely empowered to be here. This is the man that God has raised up to do great, big, wonderful, messianic type things. This is a man who, who, who calls himself a Christian. Um, this is a man who, who places himself amongst the congregation of the faithful. I'm not going to question him on that, but I. this is the time also where a Christian would stand up and say, "That's no, no, no. We don't do that. That is not who we are. That is not who we will be. That is not who we were ever supposed to be. Set your anger aside. Set your anger aside and put your trust in God. Put your trust in, in the fact that this is... This, this will play out. This thing, and I know there's, there are groups of people out there who are claiming that, oh, this is, this is the debt left, this is the Democrats, this is uh, the woke liberal mob, or whatever the case might be. Uh, this is Biden's doing. This is Biden who's weaponized the DOJ, and it's this and it's that. At this particular point in time, none of that really matters. For, for, for a Christian leader, it doesn't make any difference why, how we got here. Our response is, is supposed to, to mimic the response of Jesus in a time similar to what Jesus would have gone through. We look, well, what's a, what's a, what's some, a similar moment? When Jesus' disciples lashed out, when Jesus' disciples sought to cause harm, sought to cause harm for the sake of the one they loved, Jesus turned to them and said, no, not okay. This is, this is not the way forward. Revenge isn't ours to have. Revenge is not something that we as followers of Jesus are supposed to be seeking out. It's never something that, that, that has, has been laid at our feet and said, oh, please take this up. It's yours to enjoy. Go enjoy it. Revenge, vengeance is not ours. We leave that to God. Judgment is not ours. We leave that to God. What is ours is, is the responsibility to, to grow and to become more like Christ. That is, that's on us. And that is job enough, <laughs> right? You, we've all taught, we've talked about this. That is job number one, and that is job enough. There's nothing else I can have. I, I just do not need anything more on my plate 
than, than what Jesus has given me. I don't need, I don't need to, to put anything else on my plate because I think, oh yes, this is what God's wants. This is what God wants me to do. This is what God would have me do. Oh yeah. I, I better be a, I better judge people and I better label people and I better, I better seek out vengeance for people who have harmed me or for people who have harmed people that I love, politicians that I follow. No. I got enough on my plate with that whole love thing. I don't need to take on anything else. And again, as a Christian, I shouldn't be seeking vengeance. I shouldn't be seeking revenge. I shouldn't be seeking to punish those who have caused me pain or injury or offense And in a time like this, when tensions are really, really high, a good leader, a good, healthy, selfless, sacrificial, life-changing, world-changing, life-giving leader would step up And as their supporters cry out for retribution, would say, no, we don't need to do that. Put your pens away. Put your keyboards away. Put your phones away. Put your weapons down. We don't need to do that. You don't need to do that for me. I'm not asking you to do that. I'm asking you instead Pray for them. They know not what they do. Amen. 